Half the public is female, the other half of the public is connected to women one way or the other. I mean, what is it that means that we just accept as normal what is often an extraordinarily stark imbalance between the sexes? It seems extraordinary, despite the fact that we've had equality legislation in this country for 40 years, that we still have really substantial gaps in the representation of women in law, politics, in women's pay, in women's labour market participation. As it stands, only one in uh, five um, in Parliament is actually a woman. We know that the gender pay gap still stands at 19.1%. That means for every pound a man earns, women are earning 81p. We know that gender-based violence is still running at a high level. The Gender Inequality and Power Commission is an exercise to collect together uh, research on gender issues and find a way of presenting it so that it's relevant to wider public and policy issues. The real point of the Commission is to use the research that we already have done, the knowledge that we already have about what the situation is, what the problems are, what the possibilities are, to feed that into the wider public debate so that it's informing policy analysis, it's informing public discussion and it's actually contributing to the kinds of changes we'd like to see happen. We'll be talk talking with economists and with lawyers and with social scientists and with anthropologists among many others in order to establish a really broad picture of the situation for women in Britain today. Gender inequality matters to everybody in Britain. Gender inequality damages uh, people's lives, women's lives, but not only women's lives. If one looks at the kind of impact of cuts in public expenditure, they disproportionately affect women. We're just not making full use of the skills that women have. What we hope is that we will come up with some fairly crisp policy ideas and findings uh, in some of the most important areas of social policy. We're obviously coming up to um, a general election. I know the Commission will report um, shortly after the general election. I hope that this Commission can in part inform the agenda of any government that takes office after the election. I hope one of the things will be to challenge some kind of myths that exist. I mean, in actual fact, while there has been change in terms of equalities legislation, there's been much less change in terms of the continuing unequal positioning of women and men in the economy. What the public should care about are the issues and the Commission is a vehicle to convey um, more information about those issues, um, about what the situation is and what the possible solutions are. Anyone who cares about gender inequality hopefully will care about the upshot of this commission because it's going to have some ideas about what makes gender inequality hard to tackle but how it might be tackled. Effectively, it's a major piece of social science research looking at the conditions of life of half the population. And if people aren't interested in that, I'm really sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs>